This is State Senator Tom Bennett with an update on Friday, April 28th. This week I filed a Senate resolution calling for the Illinois Department of Corrections to provide a long-term plan for the Pontiac Correctional Center. As you may know, some of the buildings at the center have been closed, causing increased local concern over the site's future. To this end, Senate Resolution 215 instructs the Department of Corrections to release a comprehensive plan for the facility that would include any changes to physical facilities and buildings, staffing levels, or the population levels of those in custody, as well as an analysis of how the Pontiac Correctional Center fits into the state corrections system. The Pontiac Correctional Center is an economic anchor for Livingston County, an important part of our state's corrections system. As a community, we need to know what the administration's future plans are so that we can prepare for any potential major changes. The Pontiac Correctional Center is a vital asset for the future of the community and our state. Also, the Senate Republican Caucus is standing together to emphasize the importance of justice for crime victims, highlighting multiple bills that I've co-sponsored to protect our vulnerable citizens. One bill is Senate Bill 73, which increases penalties for selling drugs containing fentanyl. Meanwhile, Senate Bill 1976 creates a charge of domestic assault to make it easier for police officers to go after domestic offenders who knowingly place any household member in fear of serious harm. Also, if defendants are released from custody ahead of their trial, they will be ordered to refrain from con contacting their victims or entering their residences for a minimum of 72 hours to protect their victims. And lastly, Senate Bill 1968 makes it a felony charge to threaten a child care institution or daycare center building or to threaten violence, death, or bodily harm directed against someone at a daycare facility. I'm happy to bring attention to these bills as we work to protect crime victims. Recently, it was reported that the Health Benefits for Immigrant Adults and Seniors program is costing exponentially more than what was initially projected by the Illinois Department of Healthcare and Family Services. This is a program to provide health care to undocumented immigrants. Since fiscal year 2021, each passing year has increased the cost of the program. Now, fiscal year 2024's estimated spending is nearing $1 billion. That's a B. The budgeted amount was $220 million, forcing taxpayers to make up the shortfall. And unlike Medicaid, this program is 100% funded by state taxpayers and takes money that could be used to better our citizens' lives. We should not be prioritizing undocumented immigrants over our own struggling people. For other news and to sign up for my newsletter, please visit SenatorTomBennett.com and on social media at Facebook.com forward slash Senator Tom Bennett.